all right everybody welcome to your i guess 21st angular 2 tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be continuing with our application of login and uh, before starting i would like to download bootstrap the twitter bootstrap css file so that you know the job of just styling a bit of elements is done by bootstrap and we can just focus on angular 2. so let me just get rid of this and clear and then i'm gonna say uh, npm install bootstrap and save and hit enter uh, let's just wait for it to complete and uh, once it is done just go ahead and look in, in your known modules bootstrap and this one the bootstrap minified.css and as you can see this is a whole lot of bootstrap code right here so all right now just open your index.html and right here add this bootstrap file which would be node modules then we have bootstrap then distribution css bootstrap min.css and uh, here we go and uh, make sure you start your server again so here we go pretty much looks like bootstrap is loaded and the next thing we need to do is to set up our login form so i'm just gonna change this to template url uh, let's just say this is app templates login form dot html and if I just go up a little bit close this down and just create a simple little login form dot html and we don't need to start writing off with the html tag because this is a component so I'm gonna say form then I'm gonna say div class of form group then a label for Let's just say this is my username and your username would go here then input type text ID of uname for the label one and then class of form control and all these classes are coming off from the bootstrap framework the Twitter bootstrap one so I'm just gonna copy and paste this thing again down here and I'm gonna say this one is password and uh, change this ID to PWD let's just say and this one is a form control as well and then finally we need a summit button so I'm gonna say button type of summit and then class of button default and yes it is a button so let's just say this is login and form so Here's our simple form loaded and uh, pretty much right now nothing happens. So what I want is that I want to somehow get this data which user is entering right here into my console. So let me just change this to errors only so that it looks clean. So inside my login form what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is a data and this is an object. And I'm gonna say that on summit or basically let's just change this to form summit and this is a function which would say pretty much console log this dot data okay so now what's happening is that I'm gonna make use of ng model to two-way bind the data to this data object and what I'm gonna do is inside these square brackets which just pretty much means that I'm just looking for an update and this parenthesis which means that I'm looking for an event I'm gonna write ng model equals data dot username now what this does is what basically two-way binding does is is that it just keeps the view that is your HTML page and your component 
that is your this login.ts synchronized with each other for example let's just say you made a change to data.username here somewhere in your code then it would immediately reflect in your view and if you are kind of able to change the data.username in the view itself then you can just make use of the updated data in your component so that's sort of a plus point of two-way data binding and similarly I'm just gonna say this one right here for password and, and finally what I want is that an event on ng summit actually and this would be um, form summit uh, let's just call this cool now if I just view it in the browser let's just say this is admin admin login uh, pretty much what a minute ng model see it's a stupid password well that's not actually a problem so ng summit is form summit and this dot data Oh, oh, don't do this. That's a very silly mistake. So you need to just surround this event in parentheses because in Angular 2 we just do something like that. So now if I reload, admin, admin, and uh, let's just disable the XML HTTP request for now and just reload it again. Admin, admin, and login you can see that we got the username and password as admin and admin for our own use so now we can pretty much do like a bit of routing stuff so if um, data.username is equal to admin and, and data.password is equal to admin console log hello admin else console log who the f are you and uh, if I just try any other combination okay so error during data is not defined okay so this dot data this dot data and this dot data Pretty much so any other combination yields us who the f are you but admin admin gives us hello admin so that's pretty much how you differentiate between administrator and other users and uh, what I wanted to say in the first tutorial of this one this login application is that you need to move this logic from your JavaScript file to your backend. So pretty much what you'll do instead here is perform an HTTP request and would send a data.username and this is just a sort of dummy code it's not actual code and data.password then on a callback function you'll check that if response is true or if response says admin then you want to just throw it or you know pretty much just response could be a cookie as well which you just simply set in the browser and then the backend itself decides what the user is so yeah so that's pretty much it for this video and in the next video we'll be routing off the user to different pages depending upon what the user is so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching